don't forget, everybody, we'd love to hear from you. Send through any questions you might have to hashtag Wild Earth. Throw them in the YouTube chat stream or on Twitch. See if we can get a few more questions in in the next 37 minutes. Oh, she's calling. what we call chuffing. It's a contact call. Normally between mother and cub. But why, why, Tandy, would you try and call a cub when there's a hyena just over here in front of us? Well, she's obviously not bothered. There's another leopard, yeah? This is Tlalamba, everybody. There's another leopard in the sighting. I think it's Tlalamba. It's very likely that Tlalamba stole, made this kill initially. Is that Tlalamba, Darby? That looks like her, eh? Hello, gorgeous. Oh, up she goes. Now, I've been watching and looking around. Let me move forward, yeah? Or are you happy with that spot? Forward, eh? Hang on. That's Tlalamba, that's her daughter, everybody. Princess Tlalamba. Now, I've been looking around and I didn't even see her. She just stood up out of the long grass over there. Now, it's not uncommon for Tani to steal from her daughter, so it's possible that some interaction has taken place between these two. <laughs> Hello, princess. Is that Lalamba? Hang on a second. I thought it was her. Yeah, I think it is. Well, those viewers out there who watch the show can confirm for me if you agree. Tandy is not happy right now. I've got two leopards and a hyena here. There goes Tandy. There we go. She's send marking. She's telling Salam, this is my spot. What are you doing here? Well, there we go, everybody. Her calling has come to fruition. I'm just going to be quiet. Let you listen. Maybe 60 meters or so from from where the kill was. She's been calling and the cup is just there. There it is. Now, there's a small marula tree behind us that a leopard had a kill in already. It's going to reposition around. Gotcha. And you're going to see them walk across us there, mum and cub with older daughter behind us still on the tree very special that is very special those of you who would like to please send through a little one word tweet tell us how it makes you feel seeing a little leopard cub here comes Tlalamba everybody Tlalamba is very interested to know who's the new love here we go watch it that is Tandy chasing her away even an offspring, an old offspring, is still a risk to her cub. We're not going to move. We're going to just sit right where we are now. 
allow Tony to come back. The cub is hiding now somewhere over here. We don't want to have to move and interfere with anything here. That was Tandy chasing away her previous cub. Columbo's just inquisitive. Okay, she's coming back. Sorry about the aerial. That was a bit of a half-hearted charge. It wasn't as much noise as you'd expect, but it's just curiosity. It's curiosity, and that goes to show why we've had the amount of tracks up and down. I've got a very strong feeling Columba made that kill and uh, that's why there were more than one set of tracks, two different female tracks and Tandy probably came and stole it from her. All Columba wants to do is just catch up with her little offspring, her little not offspring, her younger sibling and say hi. It's not uncommon for these interactions to happen between female leopards the mother will carve out a piece of the territory and give it to her cub there. She's scratching, letting Columba know that that wasn't okay. JS, um, just first of all, we believe that the, the cub is a boy. So, uh, but to carry on with your question, would, would the cub her boy be a threat to Tlalamba? Well, you know, it's very hard to say, you know. I mean, leopards have been known to, to attack and kill cubs. It's, it's what happens. Um, but also bear in mind that they can also play a little bit rough, even if they're trying their best intentions, just to have fun. Davi, the cub's on the right there. Just to have fun with a the cub, then uh, they could potentially injure it. So, you know, leopards are very sort of antisocial cats. Uh, the only time they drop that antisocial barrier is when they have a cub or when they're going through a bit of a mating period. But they don't like anyone near their cub. Everything is a threat. Everything. And the cub feeds off that behavior. So the cub's learning that mum doesn't want Auntie Tlalamba nearby or big sister Tlalamba nearby. And so its behavior has understood that. She seems to be very okay with us, as you can tell. Tandy is not concerned with us at all and her behavior of licking and grooming has told the cub that everything is okay again and that's why it's come out.